hello, hello. This is attorney Mike Gravelin coming to you from Chicago as usual. Ah, I say this all the time, but I was going to take today off and then people just kept sending me good stuff. All these litigants out there doing fun things. Speak Speaking of which, sorry about that. Uh, speaking of which, yesterday we had uh, Janelle uh, with the parallel parking. I just, I just want Janelle to know that we're all behind her. Uh, the, the outpouring of support is is unbelievable. <laughs> we think she can, we think she can learn to parallel park. I don't want to put pressure. I would literally want to help her. I don't want to put pressure. On her. <laughs> But we'll we'll see if Janelle makes it. All right, we got two fun clips today. The first one, we got a fun little intro sent to me by MD. There's a link to it uh, in the description. And the, the second one we will get to. Let's get her started. Hey, so the people versus David Mahasha. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Assistant Public Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Mr. Mahashik. And sir, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? He's not signed in. I don't see him signed in. Um, we were going to be asking for an adjournment because he does have a pending felony case where he is seeking drug courts. Okay, so this is kind of fun. It takes a little bit of setup. The, the guy fails to show up at first, and he issues a bench warrant, and then he then he spends the re, the rest of the clip trying trying to get back to, to Judge Simpson. But it's just funny. Judge Simpson's expressions are priceless. Bench warrant will issue for defendant's failure to appear bond five thousand ten percent. That warrant will issue immediately. There having been previous warrants. Called case of the people versus Samantha Olmstead. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Assistant Public Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Ms. Olmstead. And ma'am, can you unmute and state your name for the record, please? Yes, Samantha Olmstead. Thank you. And we are working towards a resolution on this case. Um, we were just asking for a little more time. This is. August 17th, 2022, 9 a.m. Thank you. Bond will continue with its conditions. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Court recalls the case, people versus Cozan. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Assistant Public yeah. Defender Melissa Kleeman on behalf of Mr. Cozan. And sir, can you unmute and state your name again, please? He left. Oh, no, there he is. I'm Hello, Mr. Simpson? <laughs> Oh, really? Mr. Simpson? Yes? <laughs> this is John Mahasik, sir. Okay, get his file back. All right, we'll recall you. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get you off mute, uh, Your Honor. Okay, hold on a moment. We'll, I'm getting your file back. Okay, yes, I was really <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> Okay, well, let's stop that. And then we'll get to you. All right, Mr. Cozine. That's that block. Oh, Mr. Mahashe. Court recalls the case, people versus David Mahashe. I'll vacate the warrant I issued. Mr. Mahashe, are you there now? Mr. Simpson? <laughs> Are you there, sir? Yeah, no, I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, been here all you, morning. Hi. Sorry, having hi. technical difficulties over here. No, no, he's doing, he's doing good. Okay. <laughs> all right, and we are asking on this case. Um, I'm sorry. Let me. Get back over to my spreadsheet. We are asking um, for an adjournment because he is currently um, waiting to hear back about drug court in a felony matter. Okay. So I'll adjourn it out two weeks. So, Mr. Mahashik, I'm going to adjourn you out to August 17th. Okay, 17th? Yes, sir. Okay, at what time, Your Honor? 
I'm going to set it at 9 a.m., but you'll get a Zoom invite with, from your attorney with the time. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Bond will continue. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. You have a Thank nice you, day. Sir. You do the same. Okay, I put this in here to remind me. <clears throat> The next clip was sent to me by Denise. Uh, she sends me a lot of good clips, but this is apparently Bronco. And I think Bronco had some part in sniffing this, uh, this clip out. It's interesting. We're going down to Fulton County, Georgia. Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium. No, we're really just we're just going to court. We're going to court. But that's the only time I've ever heard Fulton County. Probably because I was watching an Atlanta Falcons game, uh, you know, back in the 70s or something. All right, all right. Let's carry on. There, there's Bronco. I'm told... In no uncertain terms, Bronco is in all caps. <laughs> Mr. Turner, your case is 22 CR 004173A, and what you're charged with one count of disorderly conduct, one count of obstruction, and one count of committing certain prohibited um, acts in a rail or bus station. Do you understand your constitutional rights? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Howard? He got almost 90 arrests. He got history out of Arizona, California, Virginia, Florida, Indiana, Illinois, Idaho, Nevada, New York, Missouri, okay. Tennessee, and Ohio. Okay. I think I Okay. Okay. So then uh, in case you didn't hear it, because he's got the mask on, he says he's got over 90 arrests. And then he starts singing the uh, state capitol song. <laughs> And here we go. Uh, do you want to give me maybe something in the last two in the last two years? Not really. I mean, unless you want it, but not really. I think I, I'm sure Miss Tortorella will give it to us. Miss Tortorella, if you'll give us not the really. relevant parts of the criminal history, not the entire criminal history, and okay. please fill yes. your case. Yes, yeah, sure. Your Honor. Unfortunately, my office um, only ran GCIC and not NCIC, so uh, currently he has no criminal history in Georgia. Okay. Mr. All right, I we guess may need you. Yes, we need you. Um, I don't even know where to start. Hold on. Let me go to my bookmarks. Oh, it's a bad sign. I got a February 2022 probation officer. Stolen goods officer out of Virginia. Marks. That was a conviction. Uh, hold on. Tennessee. Which, which was his last arrest was in June out of Blunt County. Um, disorderly conduct, criminal trespass. The disorderly conduct was dismissed. The trespass was a conviction. Also had theft of a motor vehicle. Uh, 2018 was Idaho. Says fighting, conviction, false information that was dismissed. Possession of the controlled substance was dismissed. Uh, I think yeah. that's good, Mr. Howard. Thank you. We can proceed. I think I understand. Ms. Tortorella? Uh, yes, Your Welcome. Honor. So for the certain acts charge of $500 surety bond, for the this uh, disorderly conduct charge a $2,000 surety bond, and for the obstruction charge a $1,000 surety bond, that will be a total of $3,500, and that would be a good bond. Um, the conditions we're recommending is for him to stay away from the incident location, which is the MARTA Civic Center Station at 435 West Peachtree Street, Northwest in Atlanta, um, that he have no violent contact with Officer Bailey of as we proceed here, uh, keep an eye on Holly Bridgewater. I'm not even sure what her role is, but she, she really has some good facial expressions <laughs> as, as, this, uh, as this appearance proceeds. The MARTA Police Department, no drugs or alcohol, no weapons, and no new violations of Georgia law. Your Honor, on August 2nd, 2022, while working in plain clothes, Officer Bailey and Officer Smith um, approached a um, black male later identified as defendant Keith Turner, actually, I'm sorry, observed him gain entry into the MARTA Civic Center Station um, in Atlanta by pushing through the gate without attempting to pay for the proper fare. 
Upon approach, Officer Bailey displayed his badge and identified himself to the defendant as a um, MARTA police and advised the defendant of his violation. The officer asked the defendant to provide him with defendant's identification and a breeze card. The defendant replied by yelling out loud, I do not have to show you anything and I'm not going to show you anything. The defendant then used profane language such as F this shit, end quote, quote, I do not give an F, end quote, advising officers that he did not have to show a valid identification. The officers then placed the defendant under arrest and while doing so resisted arrest and refused to place his hands behind his back. The officer had to forcefully place the, the defendant's hands behind his back and the defendant kept, kept reaching for something in his pocket. The defendant was arrested and these events occurred in Fulton County, Georgia. Your Honor, um, we um, are concerned that this defendant will reoffend. He has 90, 90 cycles. He's a multi-state offender. Um, he was convicted in 2018 of uh, fighting out of Idaho. Um, and who, who is to know what other pending cases he has? So for that reason, Your Honor, we are asking for that uh, $3,500 surety bond with the conditions. Nothing further. All right. I like that. Who's to know what other pending felony can or what other pending cases he might have? Well, I, I don't know. It's kind of your job to know. <laughs> I mean, again, he's got a lot of them. I'm not giving her too hard a time, but it, I wouldn't I wouldn't choose that turn of phrase. She she ran a search, but she didn't ran the multi. Uh, apparently, the multi state search is what I'm gathering. I don't know. I'm not in law enforcement. Um, you, you know, I just wouldn't use that particular phrase. She, she does a good job in this. Thank you, Miss Kim. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Turner is 41 years old, Your Honor, and he has been here in Georgia all his life. This is his permanent place. Yep. Um, he has a daughter that uh, he has to take care of, and also he has his parents and family members here in Georgia. And last 20 years, he also has been working as a musician. Um, he writes songs, and he does. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, uh, I just find this very charming. She's got a, an accent. I think he's a musician and she says he's a magician. <laughs> I, I know it's subtle, but it, it tickles me. It does. R&B music. Um, recently, he has <laughs> R&B music. <laughs> I mean, I can't make this stuff up. It's it's too good. He's had a funeral in the family, and he does not have enough financial resources other than taking care of his daughter. And also, um, he has... My guess is he's taking care of no one. I, I I don't know that to be true. I just it's just my gut instinct. As a very chronic medical condition that he needs medical attention, um, he needs medicine at the jail. He has not been able to get that, so we are very concerned about his uh, whether he's going to get a, a serious uh, condition there. And we would like to request for a social worker services visit for a behavioral health evaluation for him. Um, other than that, we would like to request for a signature on bond. And yet, if your honor is not inclined to give him a signature on bond because of previous uh, failure to appear in other places in multi-state offense, we would like to request for maximum um, $1,500, $1, 500 each. Uh, each charge, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, the defendant's going to receive a $1,500 surety bond, 500 each count, and he is to stay away from the Civic Center station and have no alcohol, drugs, or weapons as the condition of that surety Dad, bond. Can you please repeat the bond? I was Excuse me, Ms. Williams. I'm trying to speak on my own behalf, please. I, I, don't, I don't suggest that you do that, Mr. Turner. The best I, thing to do is to let Ms. Kim speak for you. Put the mask back on. Oh, no, I you, Mr. I would like to speak on my own behalf. Listen, I need you to put your hands back for me. Sit back on the chair. Judge, Thank what you. was the bond amount again? It's 500 each count. Mr. Turner, you have a, um, you have a representative here. Um, well, yeah. Mr. Right to remain silent, Mr. Uh, you may, the I state is listening. Anything you say will be used against you, Mr. Turner. I understand that. I understand that. I would like to speak on my own behalf. Um, my name is Mr. Keith Lamar. Up, Mr. Turner. My name is Keith Lamar Turner, and I'm sitting right here, detained against my will over some accusations that doesn't involve no violence, that doesn't involve no drugs, that doesn't involve no gangs, and doesn't. Involve
Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Stop the process. We've got a criminal defendant detained against his will. Somebody should be notified. Paul doesn't involve no weapons. I was on my way going to pick Mr. up. Mr. Turner. My, I'm no, no, I, I take seizure meds while I'm, while I'm here. And, um, I understand I, this, but I really don't want you to. You you don't know what end up might end up being used against you. You, uh, you sound like you're going to tell me about some facts, and you may slip up and say something. Miss Kim has done well in advocating for you today. It is my strong recommendation that you stop talking to me because uh, you're on an open record. Okay, Cindy, I'm, a, I'm all right. I can represent myself and talk to myself. I, I represented myself going pro per and talk to myself and, 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 and won before. So here's what I said. I'm being. Uh, he's now stated twice that he talks to himself, which is which is nice. I do too, but you know it's really not germane to the situation. <laughs> Held against my will. I'm a very sick and poor man. I take seizure medications. When the plane closed, officer stopped me. I was on my way to get my seizure medication, and I still haven't had my seizure medication. So I'm willing to resolve this matter today, or take. He's willing to resolve it. That's encouraging. <laughs> I would, I'm willing to resolve this as opposed to stay in jail. Okay. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. ...to recess or resolve this matter because, once again, I don't have no criminal arrest, no criminal history in Georgia. And with that being said, when I'm released from here... They Just in 43 other states. ...would we'll never be another incident like this again because I would make sure this non-violent... Okay, Mr. Turner, the, the bond is going to remain as set, but Ms. Tortorello, is there any offer to resolve his case at this time? I understand that Ms. Kim will not be able to assist him with that, but I just want to know if there was an offer for this case. Not not, not today, Your Honor, and I, I'm hesitant to do that as... No, that's fine. That, I just I want to more to hear it. No, I don't want question more to hear it. I can represent myself. Ms. Kim, are you done with this? Ms. Kim, you are fired. I don't need you to help me. Mr. Turner, I am directing you to calm down and to listen she to the officer there in jail. And your, and your Honor, as you can see, this defendant is unruly. Miss, Mr. Um, Roll, I think I've got it. All right. <laughs> Mr. Turner, I'm direct. I, yeah, yeah, the, the unruly part so noted. <laughs> Oh, I like everybody involved in this. I do like this judge a lot too. She she's she's very calm, but but she's on top of things. I understand. This That's is not violent. Hearing. I did nothing wrong. Mr. Not Turner, violent. this is a bond hearing that you've made bond. I've set a bond for you today. I want the margin hearing. hearing. A bar, a margin hearing, please. A margin hearing. I need a margin no hearing. I need All right. I believe Mr. Turner's case is if resolved. We, Thank this you. is a bond hearing. We've set your bond. Mr. Walker confirming with you that there's no offer at this time. I was going to say, if Mr. Turner wants to take an offer, this state would certainly provide one. Um, what is the offer at this time? I, I, would need a, I would need a moment, but is, is that what he was saying? I, he's, I he's insisting on an offer or something okay, to just resolve give me, it. Um, so. Three minutes. I'll and give I'll you follow. three minutes. Let's go courtroom two if you'll wait three minutes. Mr. Walker is going to observe yeah. to see if there's something he can offer Mr. Turner today. Okay, I yeah. understand Ms. Kim's position will be that he should not take that, but of course it would be his right to hear the okay. state's offer. Th th that's an interesting supposition there, Randy. Uh, he, he does he does uh, go soft sit or at least soft sit adjacent by the end of this hearing. Let's go to the waived appearance while Mr. Walker does that. Hi, this is Ali with the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, and thanks to all your generous support, I'm getting belly scratches. So please remember to hit like and subscribe so I get some more. All right, let's go back to Mr. Turner. Mr. Walker, if you would, I see that you put it in the chat. Will you put that offer onto the record? Yes, and I will, I will be glad to. Is courtroom two still here, Mr. Turner? The state is offering you, um, this making you an offer to resolve your case today. I'm going to ask if you want to take the offer at this time. Mr. Walker, what is the offer? And the offer would be to plead guilty to, to how many counts is it? I'm sorry, Your Honor. You really got to watch Holly through here. She, she she cannot take this, and she, she non-verbally speaks for us all. Three. Uh, three. To all three counts, the offer would be 12 months to serve, 24 hours. Credit for time served for 24 hours, which means no additional jail time. Balance probated with the condition of a two-week anger management program. A stay away from the Civic Center Martyr Station. And your probation can go non-reporting upon completion of the anger management. 
All right. I want to make sure we still have a court reporter on the line because this is not just a time sir. plea. I do see a court reporter. Ms. Carter, are you still I'm here, here with us? I'm here. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Mr. Turner, are you interested in taking that plea? Don't touch the mic. Stop touching the mic. Don't touch uh, the mic, sir. Uh, they can't hear you. They can't hear you. I can't do nothing. I'm just they trying to hear you. Okay. I'm, I'm sitting here like... Okay, you know, Mr. Turner, stay oh, yeah, focused. Yeah. Do you, you want to take this off for today? You hear me? I would like to uh, uh, speak with Mr. Walker about a possible counter offer so we can resolve this matter today. That's, that's the state's best. That's the state's final, final offer at this time here. It's only good for today. I, you know, is that, they're, they're not going to accept any counter offers at this time, Mr. Turner, even I, though I, I do no understand that you have the right to represent yourself. But this is just a bond hearing. Do you, um, are you interested in taking that offer? I'm requesting an immediate margin hearing and um, also an evidential hearing and a speedy trial. Okay. That those was, are duly enough. noted, all those requests. You're going to be reset to the SAP calendar, which I believe will meet the requirements of your first request and actually second request, and I believe third request, actually. Um, if you're not interested in the state's offer, you do have a bond as set previously, and I believe that will conclude your case, okay? Um, All right, Mr. Turner, please reach out to Ms. Kim with other questions regarding your hearing. No, no, today, no, I'm, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm discharging her because she's not in the best interest of me. I would like to that, that's within your That's within your rights. There's no need to say anything further, but she's representing you here today, as is the public defender's office is available to you if you wish to avail yourself of their services after today. All right. I want to thank you for uh, bearing with me and uh, being with me and just keep in mind that I've been offered 12 months over something and I never had no criminal arrest history in the state of Georgia. Your Honor, is that, is that bond a good bond? Yes, it's a good bond. I understand that, Mr. Turner. You're asking 12, it's actually 12 months probation. You wouldn't have to serve any more time in the Fulton County Jail, but they're requiring you to do some classes and such. They're not offering you quite 12 months to serve in the jail. I just wanted to make sure you understood that part. No. Uh, yeah, they're not offering you quite that. They're offering you to get released today, be on probation, and taking a damn anger management class, which let me tell you, you need. You need it in the worst way. Oh, I didn't understand that. Now that I know that, I would accept the offer. I thought they was offering me 12 months in jail. Look, look at Holly. But no. Mr. Walker, will you please expl explain? Well, this is uh, say now. I guess I can talk directly to the dependent. Essentially, Mr. Turner, you have to take two anger management courses and stay away from the Marta Civic Center. Um, I'm, I'm fine with staying away from the Mar Mar Martin Civic Center, uh, but I'm a musician and I travel and I make music all over. So would you please uh, take away the anger management and I'll stay away from the Martin Civic Center. He just wants to make music and magic. And that's, the, never, stage, that's the final offer. And if you, you would never to get, to SAP, you, it would not be the same. You would never get another arrest history or get another uh arrest out of me again in the state of Georgia. If you do that, please take away the anger management and I will plead guilty right now I like and stay away from the Martin uh, Civic Center, please. I'll plead guilty right now and we'll resolve this. I'm sorry, that's not something I can do. So we could just reset it for SAP, Your Honor. No, 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 I'll, I'll take the offer. Do you know how much how much about will he have to pay for the anger management courses? So I know there's different service providers. Some of them charge on a sliding scale. So I mean I, I don't want to give out any false information. No, I understand. I want him to be aware. can help direct him to. Um, and I don't want, I don't preach out to be mad, but I'm almost certain you can order it through pretrial for free. Um, they used to provide a two-day anger management course. Mr. Howard, no, is that no, correct? No, 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 no. Mr. Howard is indicating that that's not correct. They used Mr. to do that back in the day, Your Honor. Mr. But. Turner, you're also going to have to pay probation fees. You have to report to probation. The offer is that you're reporting to probation until you finish that course. But once you finish, you don't have to go uh, to probation anymore. So there there are fees involved. The state here. Will, is, is willing to waive the probation fees if the court would allow it. I'm not sure the court will allow it, but I understand, understand that position, Mr. Walker. So you understand that there would be fees involved as well, Mr. Turner? Yes, Ms. Williams. Um, I just want to know uh, when can be the next 
um, I take seizure medications, and I'm, I'm, my, my, my health in here is real poor. And I, also, I'm, I'm a diabetic. So I'm trying to get out of here as soon as I can and be done and over with this. But if, if I didn't decide to go along with this, when could be the next possible? You will uh, be next? reset to the SAP calendar on August the 16th, where, um, whereby your case would be revisited. And you do have a $1,500 bond. If you go through a bonding company, you would be able to bond out, Mr. Turner, and perhaps fight these charges from the outside. Um, okay. Um, until then, um, wait, but let's confirm something else. Is there are there any other cases holding Mr. Turner in? Is this the only case holding him in? Your Honor, I believe it's his only case. These are the only cases holding him in. Because I don't want to go through all this and then we're dealing with something some other holds. Uh, I would like to resolve this matter today, but if we can't resolve it, then can we get a, a earlier court date? Besides no, the, the, the court dates are already set. I can't reset you to it. The earliest court date you would receive would be the SAP calendar on the 16th. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Williams and, and Mr. Walker, please uh, keep this in mind that we're talking about something that doesn't involve no Weapons, no guns, or no violence. We, un we understand drugs. that part, Mr. No Turner. No drugs, no weapons, no violence. Please reconsider that for the next 16 days, okay? No drugs, no weapons, no violence. I got no criminal history out here. I'll keep back and chill for the next 16 days, but hopefully after the next 16 days. Okay, Mr. Howard, so Mr. Howard, Mr. Howard, you're still here. Mr. Howard, give me that history again out of Nevada. What was it? No, no. I just wrote the history be quiet I got for a second, Mr. Turner. Be quiet for a second. Uh, Mr. Howard, can you give me that history of Nevada and Indiana? I wrote down Nevada, Indiana. I see disorderly theft in a 2018 fighting. Give me um, the past violence in the past five years, if you don't mind, Ms. Howard. I don't have no violence in Georgia. Okay, it don't matter violence. Okay, thank you, Mr. Turner. I appreciate that. Mr. Howard. <coughs> I checked her. I don't have no criminal history in Georgia. Mr. Howard's gone. I shouldn't be. I don't know where he went. Mr. Howard, are you still there? Did you give up on us? Okay. All right, Mr. Tortorello or Mr. Walker, if you if you can give I, me the. I did you not don't have it. I have this is the Georgia one where the. Right, the only GCIC, not the NIC. This is the. Okay. I I just, Your Honor, he had a. Um, it was a, I think it was a conviction for stolen goods or arrest for twenty in twenty twenty two. Then in Tennessee, um, he had a criminal trespass um, arrest or conviction in twenty twenty two, and then he was convicted of fighting out of Idaho in twenty eighteen. Um, and that's all I, I got as far as what. Um, but he, I believe he's um, been all around the country, right, with the ninety cycles. Judge, right. Mr. Howard is about to come back on if you want him to go ahead and give you the history. <laughs> yes, if he could just give me, just confirm that there was um, nothing violent in the past five years. He should be coming back on in probably about two minutes. Uh, okay. I was trying to call him, so thank you, Ms. Uh, uh, I, he has a conviction for fighting in Idaho. I, I mean, it's the definition of violent. All right, Mr. Walker, and you, you're you making no modifications to the state's offer at this time. The court is not encouraging you to do so. I am just clarifying that point. That That is correct. The defendant can always do a non-negotiated plea, but based upon the information that I've heard and the behavior that I've witnessed today, I think a, a two-week anger management course may be beneficial. Uh, All right. Yeah, I, I disagree with that because you haven't been, I haven't had no sleep at all whatsoever. They had me inside some holding cell for 48 hours and still when I leave from here, they still don't have a bed for me. I take seizure. Okay, so what you said is wrong because I haven't slept. All right. Your medication, I take diabetic medication and they still haven't provided me. Okay, with I understand that, Mr. Turner. We, so, we understand that. What, uh, we're, what, what we're questioning right now is whether or not you want to take the uh, state's offer or whether you want to enter into a negotiated plea situation whereby you risk me making a decision where I could either waive the anger management or I could decide to agree with the state. And I'm just going to tell you, if you take a plea today, I am going to accept the state's recommendation. So we're back to the state's offer and whether or not you wish to take that or whether you want to try to bond out 
and be reset to the SAP calendar on the 16th. What would you like to do, Mr. Turner? I'd like to, uh, to know that I'm a beneficiary of trust. Okay, before you, uh, yes, sir, what would you like to do? In the meantime, please, everyone, please start sending Ms. Bridgewater the orders, all orders, outstanding paperwork, waivers of appearance. Anything else that Ms. Bridgewater needs to get, especially those other two pleas at the jail, please send those to Ms. Bridgewater. Ms. Bridgewater, have you gotten those? I said no, ma'am, I have not. I was Mr. talking right now. You cut me off when I was hey, talking. Hey, hold on, hold on. I, I did cut on. you off. We're going to come back to you, Mr. Turner. Please, please hold on. Uh, Mr. Walker, can you please send all paperwork to Ms. Bridgewater? Make sure she Don't has it. Don't speak, Your Honor. Thank okay. you. Anyone else? Ms. Kim, you send all waivers of appearance to Ms. Bridgewater? Correct. I do have the waiver. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm just holding on that plea paperwork. Okay. Mr. Turner, again, I just want you to, I'm cautioning you, the state is listening and they may review this prior to any other later court dates. That's why I keep cutting you off. I am cutting you off to protect yourself. Now, that being said, do you wish to take the state's offer at this time? I'm 41 years old, Your Honor. I've been representing myself and having to take care of myself for the past 41 years. I've seen a lot of people come and a lot of people go and there comes a time where you have to stand up for yourself and what's right. I'm a beneficiary of trust. As a beneficiary of trust, I'm appointing my trustee. As my trustee, I want you to discharge me of this amount I'm accused of and eliminate the record. And we're talking okay, Your Honor, I'm going to just cut in at this point. The state's going to take that as a no. Even if he were to take a plea, I don't think on the record it would, it would uh, read as he took it freely and volunteer, voluntarily. So at this point, we just need to reset it for SAP. Right, the state the state suggestion is noted. Mr. Turner, this is your last. Go Ian Walker. He's like, yeah, I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm withdrawing the offer. How does that grab y'all? And he should. That's opportunity. Would you like to take this plea? Yes or no? No. All right. He will be so reset to the SAP calendar on the 16th of August, whereby this entire case will be revisited. It is my, um, I do encourage the state to keep that offer or something close to it uh, for his consideration, as I'm inclined to agree that that was a fair sentence. All right. We're completed here in courtroom two. Judge. All right. We sure are, aren't we? All right. Y'all have a good day in courtroom two. Ms. Bridgewater, if you would please review the calendar for me, I greatly appreciate it. Well, there you have it. Try to take a day off. And then Denise ropes me in. Denise and, and uh, Bronco. Denise cheats and sends me pictures of Bronco, and then and then I feel obligated. But the clip was too good. Thank you, Denise. Seriously, that that that, that was good stuff. Oh, he went through that whole thing. He went through ninety percent of that appearance, and I thought, okay, he's just he, he just doesn't get it, and he's and, you know he's a criminal and he's kind of low functioning. But but I'll be darned. He pulls he he pulls out the soft set stuff at the end and so, and and does the does that whole routine. I don't know. You guys tell me. T tell me if you think he soft sit. That sounded pure soft sit to me. He did not he did not start in with the jurisdiction in the beginning. And he just he 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 leaned mostly on the career criminal. It wasn't uh this particular offense wasn't violent. Knowing that 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 gets you leaning treatment, it really does. But then you check his record uh, in other states, and he's got he's got violent stuff out there, just not in Georgia. And he's very specific about that. <laughs> uh, thank you for not being violent in one particular state. But I I, I think we I, honestly I think you should get a medal. <laughs> Oh, it was it was too good. But uh new judge who I like, uh a new clerk. I guess I guess uh Holly's the, the clerk. She was awesome. <laughs> she was awesome. She did a face palm, she did the big eyes, she did the whole thing. And and uh not one facial expression did I disagree with. <laughs> all right, thank you all. I I I'm I'm I plan on doing a happy hour tomorrow, so I will see you all soon.